Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So the first thing we're going to do today is have a quick look in the mech bay. I made a couple of updates to some of the mechs. Not anything major really. Uh, the Wolverine, we're still missing that double heatsink that we lost. So we're just leaving it in there as a slot so we can still run the mech. Uh, we swapped out the regular SRM6 for the triple plus SRM6 that we picked up the other, the other day. Um, it's plus two short range missile damage, which is awesome plus 50% uh, crit chance and plus one accuracy. So this thing is going to be a much, not much needed upgrade to the old SRM-6 we had in here. So that's a good thing. Then I redid the Assassin. I wasn't happy how it was loaded out with the machine guns. So we made a little change here. Dropped two SRM-6s in it. Uh, we have some accuracy ammo here and then regular ammo as well. We can switch between the two of them, but we'll be firing mostly accuracy ammo until we run out and then we'll switch over to the other ones. Plus we've got a medium, one medium laser left. If for whatever reason we run out of ammo, which is highly unlikely, um, we'll always have that medium laser left over. So just a little extra firepower that we can use. And then, uh, I think that's it. I don't think, did I change the fire starter? I can't remember now. I may have, there's five flamers in it now. Um, the NSS and the uh, AR-12 uh, sheath beacon. So, um, this guy is basically a dedicated overheater. Um, so we're going this route with this guy. Um, and I think that's it. I think the Hunchback is still the five medium lasers. So that's still the same. And this guy I haven't outfitted yet. I mean, it's got almost everything is primitive here. So it's like really hampered, right? So the primitive cockpit, um, minus one initiative. Um, primitive armor. Uh, minus 33% armor protection. So we need, really need to get fire fibers or something. Uh, primitive engine like everything is just not that good on this guy so it really would be if we do anything to it it'll be long range weapons at a distance either ballistic or laser weapons that'll just you know on a slow engine just standing back and shooting from a long range where we can have other people targeting for him uh, or at least uh, spotting for him so that's pretty much all we can do with this hunchback but at least we have it so we'll have an extra mech if we can get it up and running but today we're going to go to the command center. We're going to take a, an escort mission today, I think, before we leave the planet. Uh, we've got a civilian extraction here. Uh, one and a half skulls, four, 17, salvage. We only need a little bit to make our financial report. Um, but I'm thinking we just go full salvage on this one anyway. We should be able to make this financial report without a problem. We're just only 20 grand behind. So let's accept this. And we're going to bring in Satori here. Red Comet's out for a bit, but uh, let's just uh, deploy and get this sucker done. If it wants to. Hello? Deploy. Deploy? Why won't you let me deploy? I better not have to fix that uh, mech because we're unable to do that. Is it... I have no idea what's going on. Alright, well, I'm going to log out, log back in, be right back. Alright guys, as you can see, we're down on the ground. We got three mechs. Um, so apparently the Wolverine now, for some reason, um, I can't launch with a broken heatsink. Where I was able to do it before, I can't now. So we're down to three mechs. So let's see if we can do this with three. Uh, I just shifted everybody forward, or the mechs forward. So we got Baba Yaga here in the uh, Hunchback. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to give it a shot and see what we can do here. We got Max Salvage on this one. So I'm hoping we find something with a double heat sink in it. Because, damn, we're going to have to fix up the other Hunchback. Um, yeah, so anyway. Let's just keep going. I don't think we got the firepower, but I, I don't, you know, you never know on missions like this, right? You might get lucky. Um, I don't want to get too far forward. We got the speed. Uh, if we do a lot of backstabbing, um, you know, we got five flamers to overheat somebody with. We got five medium lasers to shoot somebody in the back with. My God, we're going to get killed here. So here's my ordeal. 
I was questioning whether or not to say this because really it's like my bonehead, my boneheadedness. So after the longest time, right, thinking, wow, we've got, we've had no problems launching with that uh, broken heatsink. I never thought that the broken heatsink was going to be an issue. So I'm thinking, well, it can't be that. It's got to be other stuff. So I went and I updated um, Rogue Tech. And um, after updating Rogue Tech, I still had the same problem. And I'm like, what the hell's going on, right? There's got to be something going on. Anyway, after updating Rogue Tech, uninstalling Rogue Tech, reinstalling it, going back to the last version of Rogue Tech I had, I still couldn't launch this, this one. I could start a whole new series or a whole new... Um, uh, what do you want to call it? A whole new uh, campaign, and it would run fine, no problems, right? I'm like, what the hell's going on? So finally, in the next the next day, it's like this is the next morning, right? Um, I'm like, well, you know, let's just see if I can. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Let's just see if I can run uh, um, the Jade Falcon Freeborn. Sure enough, it runs just fine. I can launch everything, no problem. So this morning, I'm like, let's just take the Wolverine out and see if that's the issue and sure enough that was the issue so there you go um, we know what the problem is now alright so I got lots of ammo for the SRMs here um, what do we want to do here it doesn't look like a lot of ammo right now but we've got the the uh, accuracy ammo I think I want to save that for later let's just move down here All right, let's shoot this guy. Let's not shoot this guy. We'll just shoot him with the laser. Maybe we get lucky. I don't know. All right, so with three guys, really, we got to keep our speed maxed out every single move. So we got three fleas and a raven, so it's not too, too bad, depending on the fleas. So we got to get right on these guys. Um... Mm, is that going to put us in jeopardy of a back attack? I don't think so. Not really, not really worried that much about the attack. I'm more worried about them actually hitting with the attack. So that's pretty good chances. Let's burn this guy a little bit. A couple of hits, not bad. We don't want that guy getting around behind us. So standing in the water is great for cooling us off, but it also gives them like 1.2 to their sensor detection, which means they can detect us a lot easier if we're standing in water. Okay, that raven's got to go. That's our next target. I don't want this flea flanking us, so we're going to get him first. Side attacks gives us a better chance to hit and also a better chance to brawl through to the center. Yeah, at least we hit with one. Nice. Okay, that's going to give us a chance to finish this guy off. Megastor. Sorry, I can't stop saying that. Okay, let's get right in here. Uh, we might go with accuracy on this one. It's got three lasers. How much has it got in the CT again? 70 in the CT. So, I want to make sure we kill this guy. Let's switch the ammo to the accuracy ammo. Give a oh, That's a little bit better chance to hit. Not much. Mm. Let's go half and half. I don't, well... Yeah, let's go this route. We got to get rid of them. No, not quite enough. How did he do though here? Oh, not too bad. We got half of it gone, so. You cheeky monkey. Okay, flowers, let's get... Can we get on that guy? We can. 
think we got to get on that Raven. Don't know what our chances to hit's going to be, but let's just turn slightly. I think we should probably be able to kill that flea. I know I'm kind of moving on here before finishing that flea up, but I'm thinking this Raven is going to be a real issue if we don't uh, start getting some heat on this guy. Yeah, there we go. That should limit his fire this next turn. Hopefully, it might not, but we'll see. Yeah, fire as much as you want, buddy. Keep yourself nice and toasty. Okay, he cooled off a little bit, but not much. Um, Forty percent a day. I'm only going to give it this little bit of movement. I really want to kill this guy, so let's hammer him hard. Okay, good. And then we can get Baba Yaga into... this should give us a rear attack on this other guy. He's in medium rate, medium uh, laser range here. Let's get right in here. Uh, maybe we can finish this guy up. Let's hope. I think he's got a large laser. Okay, we got two hits. Not as good as I was hoping. But he's got one laser, so I think it's a large laser. I hope this guy is in the large laser version. He's gonna melee though, so that's, that's okay. All right, so this is the newest version of Rogue Tech, by the way. Um, it's the version nine patch, I believe. Yeah, crap, really, I can't get eyes on this guy without, I can just move forward a little bit. I think we gotta do this. It's not the most optimal, but look at these chances to hit. Uh, let's light this guy up. Four hits. So, um, for um, my uh, other Rogue Tech series right now, uh, Funky Steve's Medina's, I'm going to slowly start winding that one down. So, um, this week might be the last full week of episodes for that. This is uh, Family Day weekend, so I was able to record a lot more than normal. Uh, but then after that, I might reduce it to one every two or three days or so. Um, we'll just see how to, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, but I want to focus more on um, the. Uh, um, uh, Jade Falcon's um, Freeborn. So uh, let's not go with the. Uh, oops, let's not go with that. Let's just go with this. Um, just because it's the 998 version. And I want to try and keep all my uh, series as up to date as possible now. Cold Forge lasted for quite a while and it was like in the oldest version. Um, and I think um, the. Uh, Funky Steve's Medina's is going to become pretty uh, out of date pretty quick, so we're going to just uh, wind that one down. I want to keep it as recent as possible so people who are watching at least uh, are getting an accurate representation of what's going on in Rogue Tech. So let's do this. And let's hammer this guy. Oh, there we go. Four hits. Nice. So now we can kill this Raven. He's nicely barbecued. I really hope we we only get one more lance. He decided to overheat himself. Yeah. Well, if you're going to overheat yourself, you might as well go and hide and do it. But with the speed of this fire starter, it's not really hiding. Uh, I don't want to get right beside him in case I need, in case I end up blocking him from my other mechs. So we're just going to hit this guy. Can't use them all, but 
we can use four for sure. Let's try... I'm gonna go for headshot, why not? Doesn't really matter, he's shut down already. We're gonna be doing a lot of damage with these flamers. Wow, really? We missed with that many? We missed with two. With over like 90% chance to hit, we missed with two. God damn it. Well, he'll be shut down again next turn anyway, so... Um, let's go this way. Stay together. Learned my lesson about splitting the party. You never split the party! So, let's just go with two. And... Should we do an offensive push and try and take this leg? Let's do that. Let's just try it. Why not? Go after the leg. 39%. We'll just go with two. Okay, we might got we might have gotten the leg there. Yep. Okay. I don't think you need to move. I think you can just stay right there. Bar. B. Q. Let's go for the other leg. Try and max salvage off this guy. Four hits. Won't be shut down, but he's pretty toasty. Now we can move forward. Yeah, let's try for this leg. How much has it got left? So two hits would be enough. Um, we better fire four. Yeah, one hit. Spread it around. Spread it around. Oh man, one hit would do it. I'm gonna go this route just in case. I don't know if we'll get it or not, but let's try. Wow, well, we got one small hit, but not enough. Pew pew! Okay. I don't know where you think you're going. Don't know if he shut down there or not. Didn't sound like it. Alright flowers, let's get around here. Yeah, he's almost toasty. Uh. Oh, he is shut down. What do you know? Let's try for a headshot. Uh, I'm going to go with two flamers and fire. Can't we always oh, be behind a building? Shit, I thought that was... Ah, uh, well. Alright, Baba Yaga, you can do this. Not from there, though. we got to get around to the other side somehow. There we go. Let's get that other leg. Let's go with three. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's go position ourselves now. I um, guess we have to go around this way. Sure, man. Get our medium lasers back up. So that wasn't so bad. Took a little more damage than I expected, but that's okay. I um, think the fire starter should probably be up front. Most likely. We'll have the assassin activate the uh, the vehicles here. Um, let's get into the trees for now. You can just wait there. Uh, I think you know I. When I, one of the things I did when I reinstalled is I adjusted the sound. just want to do something real quick here. Sorry for this, but uh, 
I love hearing hearing the pilots, so turn the voices back up. Actually, let's just go back for a second. Uh, audio, I think I'm going to probably turn the master volume up just slightly. All right, we're back. Did that take effect? No, it didn't because I didn't click save because dir. Yeah, slightly better. Um, yeah, done. Okay, so let's activate this. Commander. Moving to position. Then walk. Ready for I want order. you as far forward in the trees Fire. so that they're not impeding your movement. And let's get you up in here as far as we can too. Just in case we got a second lance here. They usually come over on this side and on this side. Well, that's kind of an interesting uh, targeter there. They changed this anyway. That's kind of neat. Um, Commander. Miss Flowers. Those vehicles are fast, man. Let's just move forward and brace. Don't like doing this, but I'm gonna. It's not really my go-to move here, but uh, I think it's gonna be for this particular one. Okay, so it looks like we might get lucky here. I think they're going to be coming in in the last little bit. So, for mechs that are just spawning now, they I don't know whether they've changed it or upped it, but they've added six chevrons of evasion. Um, and um, braced and stuff. So, when they do appear, even if you know where they're coming from, they're still going to have a really good chance of evading your uh, attacks. All right, so we're safe here. Um, just gonna brace. Why not? Wait for the vehicles to move. Come on, you guys, get up there. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's just reserve again. Roger that. Standing by. Ha, huh, this vehicle didn't move. Heat and stabilizing. Why these guys can never stay together, I don't know. Standing by. Uh, just stay there. Bracing for impact. I think this lead vehicle is probably going to go into the the hex here. What's up, boss? On the move. Come on, let's get this guy moving. Christ, you're slow, buddy. I know where they're coming from, but I don't want to be exposed. Okay, one more turn. He's not moving very far. Standing by. Gonna have to keep you here. Roger that. Unfortunately. Because we're gonna about to activate these guys. Let's get over here. It's gonna offer us a little bit of cover, I think. Not much, if any, from the beach. Here it comes. I have no idea what we're looking at right now. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. 
Okay, blackjack. Like I said, these guys have got some pretty good immunity here to start. Let's try this. Um, I want to keep moving. I want to be able to shoot too. It's really going to be bad chances to hit, but I don't care at this point. Take whatever we can get off these guys. Okay, we got two in. Receiving. Um, just get in there. Shouldn't have sprinted. Doesn't really matter. Just want to make sure that guy moved. And Megasaur, we're going to reserve. This turret hand is like going so slow, man. Let's just get in the mineral field in case they have LRMs. You know what would be neat? If they had a couple of large lasers on the Leopard dropship that they could use. And then you up the difficulty of the guys here at the end. Just a thought. Alright, what are they doing? Come on, guys. Make your decision. Cougar? Stormwolf? Um, Blackjack? Huh. Aren't those normally Climax? We're not up against the clans, are we? Um, Holding for the right opportunity. See what they're doing here. This could be disastrous. Spectre. What? That's bad. Yes, Commander. Uh, once again, reserving. Come on, shoot somebody. Well, hit somebody. This could be detrimental, reserving, but, um, I want to see where this, uh, how far this guy's going to move. Full speed, buddy. Come on, full speed. Are you kidding me? Going to get us all killed. Got an idea though. Ready for orders. Copy that. Got an idea. Don't know if it's gonna work. Grinch had a nasty, awful idea. Whether it works or not is another story. Keeping my fingers crossed so we can get these vehicles out of here without getting killed. Oh my god. I want to use the vehicles not so much as decoys, but um, as extra fire support. These guys have got really good ECM. Um, I want to force them into combat. Spend, Get them to spend a few turns not moving or having to move um, without being able to shoot. What's going on here? They got more guys coming. Why is this vehicle so damn slow? It's the AMS. You should be right up front, buddy. Well, in the middle, anyway. 
Come on. It's frustrating when you got ADD and it's like these no one's moving. I know they're calculating the best move and I like that. I really do. Don't get me wrong. But for me, it's just painful having to wait for them to figure out what they're doing. That's a lot of SRAMs. God damn it. At least I'm in the woods. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I know. I can afford to lose a medium laser. See where that guy's going, though. Come on on this side, buddy. Come on over here. Come on. We got three vehicles and two more mechs for you to deal with. He's going to move away. If it was me, I'd move back here in the water and cool off. Nah, who am I kidding? I wouldn't. I'd move in. Come on. You can do it. There you go. There you go. I don't want you to go there, though, but there you go. Um, do we have any details on this guy? So he's got most likely four SRMs. He does have weaker armor, though. That's really lousy chances to hit. But i got to stay in the trees or he's going to really plaster me. Um, and i got to get my stability back, so I'm just going to walk. I could have Vigilance, but I'm not doing it with this guy. Not yet. Oh, two groin shots. Did you see that? Right in the groin. All right. Um, Waiting for order. Ms. Flowers. I don't know, can we get into... That's like juicy right there. I think that should offer some protection. Not really, maybe a little bit. Jammed by ECM. That's fine, we still have really good chances to hit, so let's just hit him. Three hits. So that should be enough to hopefully overheat him. Yep, perfect. Um, ah, crap, I can't actually move in with this guy. Can't get too far away from that vehicle or he's not going to move forward. But we can shoot him from over here. Um, we saved the uh, bonus to hit ammo for now, which isn't really giving us that much better chance to hit, but... Well, we got one hit. Alright, let's see what they do. There's still a blackjack back there. And a cougar, too. I don't know where the hell he went to. Uh, they're not attacking, man. I'm, I'm good with that. If they don't want to attack, that's fine. Come on, vehicle. Let's go. This guy's so slow. Come on. Shiz. There goes that vehicle. All right, let's see if this guy can actually move. He's probably got like three turns before he even gets into battle. And he's got the AMS, and I'm the one taking all the damage from the missiles. Come on. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, thank you. I know my armor's low. It's always low. Yeah, he's overheating. What's up, boss? Um, how's this guy doing, heat-wise? Ah, uh, he's still fine. Ready for orders. This could be a big mistake if I do this. Let's go this route. On my way. Double time. Let's barbecue this guy. Ah, uh, only one hit. He's still got a lot of heat though. This is going to be really bad. Standing. Why can't that vehicle move? Like, what is he doing? He's decided he wants to get us all killed. That's what it is. If he doesn't move, I'm going to shoot him myself. Look at this chance to hit. Uh... 
Um, so I don't know if they've made a mistake adding these clan mechs in here. I don't know. If they're not clan mechs, uh, forgive me, but I'm pretty sure the uh, the cougar is, and I'm storm wolf definitely sounds like a clan mech name. Uh, let's shoot this guy. Another groin shot, nice. Finally, it's finally moving. These vehicles should shoot, or not. You don't need to help out, guys. Don't worry. We got this. Uh-huh. You keep saying the armor's low. I know it's low. Wait, why do you hit me and not this guy? Come on, man! Is it because I'm... Oh, it's because I'm fat, that's why. He's fat shaming me now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this guy does. Come on, buddy. Okay, good, good, good. Melee. For 24. I like it when you melee. Oh, unless you punch me in the face. I mean, come on. Really? Really? You just punched me right in the face. I gotta stop talking, honestly. I swear to God, every time I say something like that, it just... I just end up taking it, like... Really? Really? Alright, let's just walk over here. Let's try and kill this guy. Maybe we can get a double heat sink up. Yeah, it looks like his CT's almost gone. Well, not almost gone, but... Get a few shots in that CT. There's two. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's hope... Oh, uh, it's, it's a clan engine. How are we up against the clans? I don't understand how we're up against the clans. Um, at least those other two mechs haven't engaged yet. That's the bonus. Let's just move in here and brace. We gotta make sure this guy moves. I can't move too far away from him. <sighs> Punch me in the face. Yep, look at that. One hex short. One hex short. Fuck you. It's like these guys are in cahoots. That's what it is, you know? They're like in cahoots with the clanners and they're like, yeah, man, uh, let's just kill this. Let's just kill the night witches because uh, we're not going to let them use the wolverine. Then we'll trick them into thinking it's a non-clan mission and give them an e easy lance to fight right at the very beginning. And then what we'll do is we won't move the last vehicle and we'll drop a clan lance in on them and then it'll be hilarious. Hilar <laughs> Hilarity will ensue. God, really? Really? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just about to say here comes the attacks from back here, but no. There's still the cougar and a blackjack back there somewhere. I got this weird feeling that they're trying to flank. And they're going to come out of nowhere and like... Yeah, you run. You run away. You know what the sad part about this is? Is that if we can get a clan heatsink, it's not going to... Like, we can. I don't, we won't be able to stick it in the Wolverine. It won't make a difference. We'll get, like, zero use out of it. Okay, um... No point in pushing this too far. Um, let's regroup because I don't think I'm staying after these guys take off this turn hopefully this turn Order. let's get you around this way Understood. Moving fast. she's hoping to leave with these guys I don't blame me I am too I was, why can't we just get on your drop ship man They just move in, 
They kill one vehicle, so I can't succeed. Oh, now I have to go through <laughs> enemy to get out of here. Oh, the, I bet you the blackjack and the cougar are standing right in here. How much you want to wager? That's what's ha that's what's going to happen. They're just standing right in there, and they're like, "Yeah, man, come get some." Okay, going full throttle. Um. I'm going to offensive push this guy. I know we can't hit. We got the ammo. We're going to push him back a little bit. Oh, he's minus zero initiative. Great. That's uh, wonderful. No joy. Glad we uh, spent that uh, point to push his initiative back a little bit. My son's over here laughing his ass off at me. You might be able to hear him chuckling in the background. Okay, well, at least he's giving us his back, and he's meleeing. 34, wow. My mech's coming apart around me. Fucking ammo crit. Wait, what? Damage is light. Light? I saw the laser go straight through the mech. Oh, now they're engaging. Yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, they were flanking. Can we get behind this guy? We certainly can. I know he was mad at us back attacking him, but... Okay, one hit. Okay, Miss Flowers. We can't get a back attack on this guy, but we can get in here and give him a good barbecue, hopefully. I copy. At least we got some heat back. Not good chances, but we're taking them all. Nope. One of them missed by 1%. Alright, let's see what they do. I don't know if this guy's pushed back this turn because of the offensive push or what, but... We can get all get back attacks on him. Nope. Well, at least he tried, decided to change target. You know what's good, though? Um, we can step into the back here and be out of direct line of sight for these guys. That'll be good. And then we can try and sneak out of here. Yeah, of course, they're going to all go, go before us anyway, but whatever. Now, that's pretty darn good chances to hit. Moonwalk back here and let's blast this guy. Oh, yes. Two CT back hits. Completely unstable. Mess with the best, you die like the rest. Let's burn this guy. There's your leg hit. That's what you get. What you get for bugging us. Waiting for orders. That's my son laughing. <laughs> it's the cough laugh. Um, we're gonna go for the torso on this guy. Hopefully he's running on XL. There we go. Fuck you, buddy. Two down. Um, let's use this hill. They're way out on ECM, so I have no idea where they are. I'm sure they're just up on this hill, maybe in the trees. Uh, we're going to use this hill as cover. Ready for orders. I'm happy with the amount of salvage we've picked up already. So, if we just get out of here with what we have, I'm okay. Receiving you. Plus, we don't want any more headshots. Punch me in the face. I don't love her. She punched me in the face. Princess Bride, if you haven't seen it. Alright. Um, no, sorry, that's Willow. The movie Willow. I don't love her. She punched me in the face. No, she kicked me in the face. That was what it was. Um, let's put ourselves in a position... 
or we can make a good sprint for that uh, exit. They'll probably get one turn on us shooting. Standing by. I copy. Orders. Ms. Flowers. Affirmative. Okay, let's see what they do here. Oh, you can spot me, eh? Okay. Inspired. We all go in 16. Which means they probably both go before me. Which, in a way, is probably a good thing. Um. Hmm. If it's going to take us an extra turn... Maybe we try to get a shot on them? Uh, okay. Not that we can actually see them, but okay. Ready for order. Let's get back behind the... Uh, we don't want to take another headshot. Let's get behind the uh, hunchback. Receiving. The only thing I'm really worried about is that heavy medium laser. We need ECMs badly. Badly. Or beagle probes or something. There's that cougar. See that? Freaking heavy uh, medium laser. It's tempting me to go after him. That's a torso here too. Down to 24. Fire everything on the side of this guy. Maybe we can burrow through before we leave. Waiting for orders. Um, I want you to sprint because I want you in front of... Well, as far in front of that guy as you can get. Uh, accuracy ammo's on. Uh, firing. Uh, now, do we stay? There's the blackjack. We have a chance to lose that torso. That's going to be a lot of repairs if we do that. Yeah, I know. We're out of here. As much as I want to stay, it's not worth losing a torso over. All right, there it is, folks. All right, contract payment increased by 10%, which is good because we're going to need that for repairs, most likely. Uh, it would have been a different story if we had four mechs, but we did a pretty good job with three, especially at the end there. And I don't think there's going to be a regular double heatsink down here. Um, lots of good stuff, though. Good thing we took four salvage. Clan double heatsink kit. Wait a minute. If we take, are there clan double heat sinks? There isn't. God damn it. Either way, it doesn't matter what we do. I was thinking we could take the clan double heat sink and some clan double heat sinks and swap them around, but that's not going to happen. Um, SRM Artemis ammo. Is there not an, we didn't see an Artemis system here anywhere, did we? Clan Heat Bank is a huge, uh, a huge deal for one ton and two slots. Nine, minus nine heat per turn and overheat. Um, clan Case, but we need Clan Armor to be able to use it. Clan Endo Steel is a huge deal. Um, XL Engine for cash. Ex clan Exchanger is a huge deal. It's like half the weight. Um, Clan SRM 6s are half the weight. So a lot of really great stuff here. I'm really shocked that we were up against Clan Max here. Uh, medium improved heavy laser. Superior damage. Explode for 25 when destroyed. 
Um, these are really great finds too. Although the heat is ridiculous, we have the extra weight that we can use. Lots of Storm Wolf parts, uh, Raven parts. I still think we take gear more so than anything. Um, I'm just really shocked that we uh, that these guys were clan members. Uh, okay, we could take clan Pharaoh. Jesus. Okay, what's going to give us the immediate bonus? Clan Exchanger will definitely give us immediate bonuses. A pair of Clan SRM6s are immediate bonuses because we can fit more stuff on our mechs. I mean, technically, if we took four of these, I think the Assassin's got two uh, missile points on each shoulder. We could put all four of these in the Assassin. Of course, we'd have to worry about ammo at that point. But we could take two of these and up the up the uh, damage potential in the assassin by swapping out one of the old ones. Uh, clan heat bank is a huge advantage. Double heat sink kit clan is, but we need double heat sinks. Tractable blade is a possibility. Now, is this Artemis ammo? Does it? Re Does it requ yeah, it requires the Artemis system to use, which we don't have. Um, hmm. Patchwork materials is a good choice. I don't think it's more important than like Clan Pharaoh or Clan Endo. Because this will definitely give us more space to jam stuff in. The 210 core is a possibility. God, it's so many good things. As much as I want to take one of these. They are plus one accuracy, but they're volatile if destroyed. 25 damage. It's not that bad, I guess. Um... It's going to give us an immediate advantage, the clan endo probably. The, thing I, the, the issues I have with XL engines is the, the cost to actually ins put them in. We can, we're going to be encountering regular stuff. I don't know if this clan, if these clans were just a fluke or what it was. Um, you know what it could be though is when I reinstalled I I did I did install this time the uh, um, tougher lances so this could be one of those lances um, this is really juicy too but it's not really replaceable like but neither is the other exchanger. Uh, okay, Clan Endo. That's a really hard choice to do. No, I think we take the heat bank. It's going to allow us to fire more weapons more often. I think really that's probably the better, we're better off. Let's see if we can get some good stuff here. Okay, flea part, no big deal. Raven part, specter part, two storm wolf parts, a couple of medium lasers, a bonus to hit one, which is nice. Narc launcher, that's really nice if we got ammo for it. A couple of bonus small lasers, didn't get any more SRMs. Jump jet, we did get patchwork material, so that's really good too. So overall, 17 million in sea bills, so that's pretty cool. All right, a bit of world changing hands here, not too many. 56,000, yeah, well, it could have been worse. 25 days is more what I'm worried about. We did make enough of the financial report, which is great. Let's manage our tasks a little bit here. I want the assassin back earlier, but we need to move the hunchback in as well. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, let's go that route. So we're kind of stuck now without a double heatsink. 
I don't think we're going to find double heat sinks in the store. We don't really have the uh, the cred with the uh, Mercenary re Review Board to get stuff like that yet. But I will keep my eye open for one. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff here, though. Like this breaching shot. I know it only works with one weapon, but... Uh, that's well, heats and cooling pod. That's good too. But we just picked up some good stuff, so we don't have to worry about that. Mask is here. Uh, Artemis, but we don't have the cash for that. All right, so you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to um, let's move systems at this point because we got 19 days to wait. We might as well get to a new system that's going to give us some better uh, missions here. So let's go to navigation, uh, star map. We're going to be going through the financial report. Nothing we can do about that. We need to get that other hunchback up and running. We're down to three mechs, so we really need to find like a good, close, half-skull world. Like uh, Bella Cruz right here. Is this a rocky world? It's rocky, isn't it? Rocky world. Um, we got to do some missions where we can pull it off with three mechs. Um, That one wasn't too bad. The escort wasn't too bad. I think if we get some more escorts, we'll be okay. Valentia is too far away. Uh, Tiflis, a little far. It's a laugh. We were there before. That's 16 days. This is what? Bella Cruz is 16. I think this is probably a better choice. Um, it's got manufacturing. Small population. Does have moon, so we might be doing... Lunar? I don't. It's highly unlikely. This is just like an Earth-like, right? Arctic world. Better for heat sinking. So let's. Now we got all that heat sinking stuff, right? Eh? Huh? Totally worth it. Zlatusi, Watusi. Let's go here. Sixteen days, kind of shit, but we'll be six days into the next, or uh, eight days into the next month. Let's go. I just hope we have enough for. Um, Let's pause here for a second. Hope we have got enough for um, getting our mechs up and running too, right? Uh, so the assassin, let's have a look at this guy. I mean, I could refit the Wolverine by pulling out the double heatsink kit. Why does that sound like it might be a good idea? Now that we got the other heating stuff, right? Just let me do this for a second. We pull out the double heatsink kit and the two double heatsinks, right? Which means we need to add two heatsinks, which we have. These are the damaged ones. Um, let's drop the damaged ones in for now because we can repair them. Uh, why doesn't that... We don't need these ones, actually. Leave those out because uh, we have a bonus core engine, right? Yeah. So it's 33 heat sinking. And then if we go and drop in our exchanger, and then we go and we drop in our heat bank, where are you here? That we just picked up. Alpha strike 63, heat sinking 48, shut down on 130. It's not super awesome, but I don't hate it at the same time. This small pulse is what? 13 heat. So if we take 13 off of this, it's 50. 48, 50 heat sinking. That's pretty damn good. That's going to get us back in the game here. Now, do we have a bigger core? We got a 240, which means we can drop the 240 plus the double heat sink can and the heat sink into the other hunchback. So let's confirm this. It's only 7,000 too. Okay, let's, con let's confirm that. Let's have a look at the assassin. Remember, we got to keep 25 grand for our travel here. So we've got about 100 grand to play with. So this one is damaged. So let's pull that out. And then let's go and grab our two. Oops, we want to go to weapons, missile systems, two clan SRM6s. Oh, we don't have. I thought we had four hard points on this guy. I think it's the Wolverine I was thinking of. Let's just repair this one. 
I'll put these to better use. Let's confirm that. It's one day. Now this hunchback, find out what it's going to take to fix this guy up. So let's go to equipment first. We want to add the 240 because we want to be able to use some extra weight here. We want to be able to use, we're going to need a double heat sink in here and a double heat sink kit. Um, And then I think if we just go with remember this guy's going to be just fire support right don't have any missile I don't think we have anything here we can really use Christ the boomstick but we don't have ammo that would be pretty awesome we do have fluid gun with inferno ammo we could use it's like eight shots though want to max out the armor it's almost completely max so it would just be basically two large lasers on this thing uh, we do have two hands I'm thinking guys that this is probably going to be what it is It really isn't the best, but it's going to run super heat efficient and uh, give us long range fire support. Now, the other way we could do this, see we only got two laser, we got laser point in the head too, right? What about ballistic? What do we have for ballistic here? Do you have that AC-20? Do we have AC-20 ammo? Check the top. We got AC-20 precision ammo and another ton of ammo. We could go with the AC-20, but we'd need to strip a lot of arm, like a, not a lot of weight off this guy. We wouldn't need the double heatsink kit at that point. What's the chance to jam with this thing? It's got two recoil, so it'll be 6% in the first turn. See, so the thing is, if this thing jams, we're screwed. The problem with this is, too, is that we're, we're adding it in the torso with plus one precision ammo. But lasers themselves get a plus one accuracy, plus one for the arm, plus one for the hand. So this will be plus three, whereas this will be like plus one. And we got a pair of larges as opposed to one AC-20, and these things don't jam. So I think we're better off going with the two larges. It's going to be an issue is if we lose this heat sink. That's where the issue will come in. But I think overall. And this thing has got a little bit of speed. So maybe we just increase. That What that gives us three tons? How does that give us three tons? One slot for one ton. How does that even work? So in that case, we could add a, a uh, fluid gun on this guy. Got one ton left over. Backup medium laser in the head. Can't add any of these things. I mean, we could add a couple of jump jets. Um, put them in the leg so it doesn't, not so goofy. 14 days, 61,000. I'm not hating it. Not hating it. Let's just do it. We need to get this mech into service. So let's do it that way. So let's manage our tasks. So we can have a lance here in a little bit. So we could have both hunchbacks back in 14 days, which maybe we do that. 
We want the Wolverine in there, though. Yeah, let's try this. So we're going to have to take a mission that's going to give us just sea bills first so we can make our financial report. Um, but that'll be next episode. I think we're going to end it here. Um, spend a little bit of time refitting and stuff. We'll just fly to our next uh, location, see what our missions are. And then when we come back next time, we'll, uh, you know, take off, hitting the ground running. Sunflower will be back. All of our mechs should be back in a short period of time. Let's visit the store. See if we got anything interesting here for, what do we have, 53,000? MRM 20, Wrecking Ball. Um, Endo Steel. XL engine. We need any kind of engine for that. Uh, any kind of armor and any kind of engine for the um, the new Hunchback. This has got that old chassis. It's really hurting us. So I think if we can find Pharaoh or something in the next few missions, we go with that. Triple plus flamer would be nice too. But all right. Well, not much there. Uh, we'll worry about the missions when we come back next time. Yeah, man, getting there for a week. Megasaur. You'll be back for second mission next episode. For, Excellent. So we got 16 days. We got half a month to pull off our financial statements, which shouldn't be a problem. 71,000. All our mechs are back. Megasaur is back for the second mission next time. All right, guys, so we're going to end it there. If you like the episode, drop a like. If uh, you got any comments for that second hunchback loadout, I know it's got that uh, obsolete chassis. We're doing our best trying to get it to a functional state. It's got lots of armor, so the good thing about it is we can get it in the front line and it can take a lot of damage. Um, so that's good. Um, but other than that, we I don't know, it's really limited in function. Um, so if, if you got any comments, drop it in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.